Hey everybody, I'm Michelle Long. I'm the Director of Education at Children's Theatre of Charlotte. And we're starting a new series today that's called Meet a New Script. This particular script, I'm gonna put my glasses on so I get this right, is Trixie True Teen Detective and it's book, music, and lyrics by Kelly Hamilton. So that's a huge deal that she wrote all of those because that's not easy to do. And we always want to acknowledge our playwrights, our composers, and our uh, lyricists because they are amazingly talented people and we wouldn't have theater to do if they didn't write it. So we always want to make sure that we are acknowledging them. So Kelly Hamilton wrote Trixie True Teen Detective and this is a show I saw years ago. Uh, the reason that I love this show is because it is a spoof of the Nancy Drew mystery series and I'm a huge Nancy Drew fan. And uh, that's why I loved this one so much. It's a lot of fun. You can get it through Samuel French if you're interested, which is now Concord Theatricals. It's all co combined under there. So uh, I was gonna read a little bit about of this so that you could get a sense of what the script is like because this musical isn't done very often. And so this is a really great one to kinda meet today. So the setting of this particular play this particular musical, uh, the entire production is stylized to suggest illustrations in pulp crime and detective magazines of the 1940s, my favorite time period. The basic unit set is abstract to the degree that it must suggest several acting areas. So that's easy, right? You're going to do a unit set. You don't have to have lots of scene changes. That's really cool. The dominant impression is of the interior of a reasonably successful publishing company. It is stylish, sleek, and genuinely 1940s modern. There are two desks upon which rest two vintage model typewriters. A translucent door leads to the outside and another to an inner office. Bookshelves display an endless collection of series books, and the walls feature colorful posters, which are the enlarged book cover illustrations of various Trixie True Mysteries. Titles include The Secret of Blackberry Farm, The Answer in the Aztec Ruins, and The Puzzle of the Lost Luncheonette. The rest of the stage is fluid and open, leaving room for a variety of scenes and locations, which are suggested by simple cartoon cutouts and units. So it sounds like it's a uh, pretty interesting uh, way to do this particular show, simple unit set. Uh, there are two characters at the very beginning of the show. It's Joe and Al, and they're actually the writers of the Trixie True Teen Detective series. They're a little cynical. They're tired of writing about this 18-year-old detective, but it's been such a hit, they have to keep writing it because that's how they're paying the bills. So at the very beginning, they start to write about Trixie True and this new book that's going to come out, this next book that's going to come out, right? So they say, so what's one mystery more? Joe says, here she is, boys. Here she is, world. Cute, perky, and permanently 18. As if created by the typing, Trixie True emerges. She's a pretty girl of 18 wearing a smartly tailored blue dress and carrying a large flashlight and magnifying glass. Trixie singing brightly. Big time hoods and counterfeiters. Small time bandits. Remember, all ain't gold that glitters. Upstage, three giant sized book cover posters appear, each featuring an illustration of a crook who comes to life. The riddle of Rustler's Ranch the presence in the pyramid, the jinx of the jade vase. The three crooks step out of their posters, alarmed at Trixie's challenge to the underworld and sing, better leave town without a trace. Trixie sings, petty thieves, embezzling bookies, don't get caught with your hand in the cookies. Trixie's on the case, ooh, Trixie's on the case. In your dens of base corruption, lurk and scheme, but there's gonna be an interruption. The crook sings, soon she'll find your hiding place. But Trixie sings, goodbye, Mr. Crime and Misdemeanor. The underworld will soon be cleaner. Trixie's on the case. Ooh, Trixie's on the case. Trixie continues sleuthing after the crooks, peeling footprints off the ground. I love that part. Joe and Al start to sing. So then you've got this kind of juxtaposition between the people that are writing it, and also what's happening in the book that they're writing, which is kind of fun. Go, Trixie True, tracking down a clue, trucking on down the avenue, try to get away, but nobody gets away from Trixie True. 
Trixie has tracked the crooks to their lair. So um, that just gives you a little bite-sized snippet of Trixie True Teen Detective. I'm glad that I could introduce you to a new script today. Thanks.